So let's go through the motions of using the binding. To go uphill, first thing you want to do is lock out your brake, and you're going to push in the spring-loaded button here, and the hook is going to catch the brake. Then you release the button, voila. The brakes are now locked out. Be very cautious not to rail on these brake wings as they can bend and then the hook won't work properly. The other thing you want to do in the back is make sure heel pins are either covered, turned 180 degrees, this is going to be your flat mode, or your heel riser is forward and that's going to be your high heel. We'll just start out in the flat position for the purpose of this and then your toe is in the open position. So your toe has three positions, it's either going to be open in ski mode or in uphill mode. With your boot nice and loose, you're going to slide in. I like it as a slide in feature, keep your knee over your toes. Once the ski moves a little bit, put some pressure down. Feel that nice snap. And lock up that toe. So without the heel locked in, you're going to put so much, potentially put so much torque on this toe that it's going to release and we prevent that by locking out the toe. And if you want a little extra heel riser, you'll be able to maneuver that as necessary. So when you get to your transition point, in order to get out of the binding, you're always going to get out through the toe. So you're going to take your palm, lean over, push your toe piece flat, then use the tip of your pole to push down all the way, step out. Now before you take your imaginary skins off, you are going to push the button and that's going to release the brakes. So with the brakes released and your pins forward, I'm going to strip the skins off, toes open, I'm going to lock up my boot, I'm going to slide back in, feel that ATK click, and then line, make sure that the heel pins are aligned, and step down. That's it. So now you're in, you're all set for downhill mode. Now a couple things to keep your eyes on is this snow build up. It's pretty common to get snow building up under that toe piece in really icy conditions. And then same goes with the heel piece. If something doesn't feel right, if the brake's not locking out correctly, don't rail on it. Just thoroughly go through, double check your inserts, have a buddy help make sure that you're, you're good. But a lot of user error is what's responsible for you know, binding malfunctions. And just think about it, if you really step on that and there's ice in there, that ice can easily bend or damage the binding. To get out of the binding, you're going to take the tip of your pole, push down, lift up with your toe at the same time, and commit to one side or the other, wiggle off, and you are free. That's it for the Crescent RT model bindings. Any questions, please comment below or email me, andrew at skithewhites.com.